a Jeep Wrangler for those who wish to say, yes, I might climb up that mountain today. But now we have the 2024 Wrangler 4xe, the environmentally friendly, built for the outdoorsy mountain climbing types, you know, hug a tree type. Let's talk about the name, 4xe. This peculiar moniker is Jeep's attempt to fuse off-road ruggedness with eco-conscious driving, which to me, kinda seems like teaching a grizzly bear how to do the waltz. This Jeep offers the same plug-in hybrid system as last year, with a little extra oomph. While Pyrrhus may scoff at the idea, there's no denying its appeal. The powertrain combines a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with electric motors resulting in 375 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque, which is enough to tow your house if you ever feel the need. Packed with a slightly better 17 kilowatt hour battery, this contraption promises 25 miles of whisper quiet electric adventure. And by Jeep's reckoning, that'll give you a couple hours of tiptoeing around the trails without disturbing the wildlife. Now here's the brilliant part. If you find yourself drained of all electron juice, the turbocharged four cylinder engine fires up and powers all four wheels down the trail. Ensuring that you're not stuck in the woods pondering the inadequacy of electric infrastructure. Cause let's be honest, you can't plug into a tree. Now for the styling. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the controversial grill. Jeep's given it a refresh, which they tell us gives it a higher capability of cooling. It's like they take a page out of Picasso's book. Beautiful to some, confusing to others. Some love it. Some tell me it looks like it's been in a run-in with a sledgehammer. I'll let you be the judge. Still, the usual fare of great features are present. Steel bumpers, LED light, and an 8,000 pound Warren winch that you can get installed from factory. I suppose Jeep has looked around at all the other manufacturers making these offerings and thought, yeah, we could do that too. It's like having a friend that's always late to the party but he brings a six pack well after the liquor store is closed. Always late, but bringing a little extra party to the party. Hello. Additionally, Jeep has opted to offer a new bottom end. It is now packing a full floating Dana 44 HD in its rear axle. A bit of car jargon, but stick with me. You see, previously this part of the car was a semi floating type, a kind that does two jobs. It helps turn the wheels and support the car's weight. But the wizards at Jeep decided to separate these jobs to create a stronger beast with this new full floating type. It's like separating the duties of a Swiss army knife. Each tool can now be more robust and perfect for the job. So whether you're hauling something heavy or you're going on an off-road adventure with some massive tires, this new axle will be your silent guardian. It's like having a robust knight protecting your vehicle. It will have all of the older versions crying for mercy. So let's say you're out there tackling rough trails and something hits your rear axle. Bam, brakes. On the old ones, that's game over. You're doing the walk of shame, but not with the new one. With the new one, that's like having a spare tire for your axle. You will keep rolling and all four wheels will get you down the trail so you can find somewhere to do the proper repairs. Well, it's not a must have. Think of it as a safety net, offering strength and peace of mind for those who dare to take the Wrangler to the limits. And now for the inside. It feels like Jeep has remembered that they're building a vehicle for the 21st century. With more tech, fewer sharp edges, and honestly, it doesn't feel half bad. Now let's talk about the Uconnect system. They've used a 12.3 inch screen, which is far more intuitive and far better than the ones before. It's actually 0.3 of an inch bigger than the Rams. This new Uconnect system comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which this year is wireless. It also comes with your navigation, your comfort controls, also your vehicle off-road pages and controls for your front-facing camera and rear-facing camera. Front-facing camera that they have dubbed the trail cam. You could argue that a big screen in a vehicle that's supposed to take you off-road and up mountains is a little bit excessive. Kind of like bringing a grand piano camping, but honestly, 
it works. In essence, the 2024 Jeep Wrangler 4xe is like a car going through a midlife crisis. It wants to be green, it wants to be tech savvy, but it can't let go of its wild side. It can't let go of its mud splattering roots. And in a way, that's what makes it so endearing. If you want a vehicle that feels just as at home off the road and on the mountain as it does doing a school run, and you can get past that polarizing grill, this may just be the car for you. Thanks for watching. As always, it's Van Horn. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. See you later.